So I've had a lot of experience with girls and they, every single one of them with uh, Middle Eastern girls being the worst of this, all like, I would treat every one of them like with, with respect and be kind of like the nice guy uh, initially just to see how, because just because that's how my parents raised me. Uh, I'm sorry, that just sounds kind of ominous, you know. I treat them really nicely at first. And then, no, so you, you'd start off with this, like, I treat people the best I can the first time and then see what happens, right? Yeah. And what happened? They quickly got bored. So I learned as I got older, the, um, like, it, they all told me, like, I would be too nice. So then I would start uh, being an asshole to them, like, you know, complete douchebag. And they freaking... What do you mean? What would you do? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't return their calls. I wouldn't return their text messages. I mean, I would uh, check out other girls when I would when I would be with them, and they, you know, they would sh they would seem like they would be mad at first, but then they would just like become more interested, and they would be just more like sexually willing, I guess. <laughs> after I treat them like a, after like I treat them like an like I'm an asshole, like I'm a douchebag, so they start to become more clingy after that. And do you know why that happened? Why they become more clingy? No, why Why they were attracted to you when you treated them badly. Why they were more attracted to you. Because um, I was exuding more alpha male traits, more confidence. <laughs> Wrong? <laughs> well, I, th I think so. I, I, I'm, let, let, I'll keep this very brief, Andrew, and, okay. and then please continue with your story. But I think it's because female sexuality has been divorced from consequences. It's been divorced from the need to find a good provider. Now, in the absence of the use and, and evolutionary utility of female sexuality, which is to find, to, to, to be as good looking as possible, to be as attractive as possible, and to be as pleasant as possible so that you can find a good provider, the, the highest provider that you can provide, that you can get a hold of. In the absence of that, biological imperative, female sexuality has become merely status Olympics. That's all it is. Okay. And so in, in status Olympics, it's all about supply and demand, not the supply and demand of good, honest, decent, providing men. It is all about supply and demand in terms of if you are less interested in them, it's because you must be able to get a better woman, a more, and that just means more attractive woman. So you must be able to get a more attractive woman if you're losing interest in them and treating them badly, not returning their texts and checking out other women. It's because you don't feel any loyalty to them, which means that you must be a higher status male than they thought, and therefore they should hang on to you because if you dump them for a higher, for a more attractive female, they'll feel like crap because they'll be lower in the pecking order. So it's all become about the status Olympics. Uh, uh, is this the kind of guy that my girlfriends are going to be jealous of? Is this the kind of guy that's going to make me look good? And, and so this status Olympics is what female sexuality has devolved into in the absence of its original purpose, which is to get the most stable uh, provider uh, that, that's possible. Instead of getting a good man, now they just want a shallow, shallowly defined high status man. So beforehand, when you would treat a woman badly, she'd say, well, this guy would never be a good provider. So I'm not interested in him if he treats me badly, because the whole point of female sexuality was to get the good provider. Now, now, now that it's all about the status Olympics, if he treat, if you treat them badly, you must be high status and thus of, of greater value because you're aiming up the ladder of attractiveness and they don't want to reveal that they're lower. Does that make any sense? It does, yeah. It makes perfect sense. So, what would happen then after you'd start treating these women like crap? I would imply that their sexual marketplace value is lower than what mine is. Sure, and then what would happen? So, they'd, they'd then want to... Basically, they want to daze you by shooting you with the hypodermic dart of... Vagina bill, right? <laughs> yeah. Right, because, you know, you know what it's like. I mean, how how many great poems are written right after an orgasm for a man? Unless the poem <laughs> goes something like this. <laughs> right? I mean, it, it's a blow dart of nippledom that goes into your thigh and it's like, oh, well, I used to have ambition. I used to have drive. <laughs> 
right? So, you know, this, this uh, you know, squeeze your brain with a woman's thighs until it loses oxygen and becomes compliant is pretty common in, <laughs> in the dating world. So they try to drug you with uh, sexuality in the hopes that you can just be around as a high status male to make them look good, right? Yeah. So and then what would happen? After, I'm sorry, what would happen after what? <laughs> Wait, you didn't just rub one out, did you? <laughs> don't, don't daze uh, out on me, bro. Wait, are you just thinking about tits again now? <laughs> it's like, maybe. have I just made too many sexual references of you? Like, Bring the blood back. North, north, my friends. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was so, to myself. No, what now. I mean is, so after, like, after you start treating them like crap and they try to bang you into compliance uh, and, and uh, you know, dunderheaded uh, obedience, what would happen then? Uh, I would. I think the pattern would just repeat. So then, once I started submitting to her, to her will, uh, she would start to um, kind of go back to trying to find another guy. Uh, if I went back to being like nice to her, like I was before. Oh right. So once you go back to what used to be high status when women had to depend on men, you now become low status because yes. you must want her. In other words, you she is the best you can do, and so she must be able to do one better. Exactly. And then how would it end? Uh, well, it would be just a repeating pattern uh, just happening. So I'd be nice and then she'll want to look elsewhere and I'd be mean and then she'll want to stay with me. So I think it'll just keep repeating until one of, uh, one of us just gets fed up with it and leaves.